Hi, it's Corrine for Saw Crafters Guest Design Team, and today I'm making a frame with a mini album inside. This is Saw's uh, number four frame. She has several frames to choose from, and I'll put the links to her store in the description box below, along with a coupon code for 5% off if you spend $30 or more. So again, that'll be in the description box below. Now, this frame was super simple to put together, and I used a little bit of E6000 to glue it together. And as you can see, I'm coating it with some gesso. I did one coat of gesso and two coats of white acrylic paint. And this frame also comes with a stand on the back, so I made sure to paint that as well. I'm measuring the inside for my mini album and I'm doing an accordion style mini album. So I'm cutting three separate pieces of cardstock at eight and three fourths by sixth and one eighth. And I will be scoring all three of those. And I do score them twice because it is a thick cardstock. So the score marks on the eight and three fourths side, you want to put it on long ways. I'm scoring it at four and one eighth, four and one fourth, and eight and three eighths. And the two middle score marks, I'm leaving myself a little bit of a gusset, a little bit of a spine, a one eighth inch of a spine. And then that last score mark is going to be my tab to adhere it to the next paper. So I'll show you here in a minute what I'm um, talking about. So I'm just marking or I'm just creasing all my score marks. And here I show you a little bit closer what my spine looks like. It's again a 1 8 inch spine which will allow for photos without it getting too thick. That way it sits nicely inside the frame. So now I'm just going to use some Scotch Quick Dry to that entire tab and add it to my second piece and I'm going to add my paper up to the score line but not covering the score line that way it still folds nicely and now I'm adhering the third piece and making sure it fits in my frame well, which I was really happy with how it sat in there. So now I decided that's all that I'm making. So I'm cutting off that last tab since I'm not adding any more pages to it. And I think that gives me enough room for 11 photos, I believe it was. So I'm using the My Mind's Eye 6x6 paper pad and I cut down 11 pieces of 4x6 added tape to the back of each piece and I'm just going to adhere those down and I'm keeping in mind if there's any directional patterns on which way they're facing because I want them facing the same on the front as they are on the back side as well. So just keep that in mind depending on how you want your accordion to um, look if you want it all the same direction which I did. So here's all the papers added to it. And I'm just showing you how to look in the frame. And now I'm using some basic grace uh, magnets. And I'm placing two on the back of the mini album. And then I will also be placing two on the back side of my paper that's going to be going in the frame. That way you can pull the entire mini album out of it without seeing the magnets. So I'm just adding a little bit of ink to the magnets. I'm going to set my, my mini album back inside and what that will do is ink up that paper again on the back side to where I know how exactly where to place my magnets. So I'm just making sure my ink is dry before I do that and wiping it off on the magnets. 
So now I have a, a guide to place my magnets exactly where they need to be. Once I've done that, I'm going to add my double-sided tape and place that inside of my frame. And I did get a little bit of ink on the corner of my paper, which once I place my pattern paper down, it does show a little bit. So I just took a white pen, gel pen to that, and it came out perfect. You don't end up seeing the black on it. So now it sits in there and it's magnetized. What I decided is I wanted a little piece of ribbon as a tab to help me pull out the album. So I just folded a piece of satin ribbon in half, adhered it with my ATG, and now I'm just finding the center point of my, my book and adhering it down and then replacing that paper. And then that way there's something to grab on to, to pull the mini album out of the frame. I also used a um, photo flip, I'm not sure what those are called, and added that to the top left corner knowing that I will be placing some flowers over there to cover it up. And the little screw actually came with some of um, Saw Crafters zippers. I got some of her metal zippers and it was some of the hardware in there. So I just screwed that right in the top there and it turned out perfect. So here I'm showing you, I'm using several pieces of her wood pieces. I'm using a um, zipper, a leaf, some clock hands, and one of her flag sentiments. And I love uh, all these. I'm adding some white ink to them. And because it is pigment ink, it'll take forever to dry. So I just added a little bit of clear embossing powder to it and that way I can heat set it and they'll be dry right away so I can work with them. Now this gives it just a little bit of color. I didn't want them stark white because I wanted them to stand out a little bit from the frame. So I'll give you a little bit closer look here in just a minute and you'll be able to see that it tones them down. They're not stark white and it gives them a little bit of a shine as well. So now I want to add a couple handmade flowers. So I'm just kind of looking through my stash here, picking out some flowers. And I wanted to tone this pink down a little, so I'm adding a little bit of the Heidi Swap white to it. And that toned it down just enough so it wasn't as bright. Here's some cheesecloth. I got that at my local grocery store. I just wanted to give it a little bit of dimension behind the flowers there. A little bit of texture. And I'll just start adhering everything down with some hot glue. The photo flip up in the top left hand corner, I put up there just in case once the photos are added, I was worried that the mini album might get a little too top heavy and fall out. So that way it will stop it from falling out in case it does get a little heavy. I love those clock hands that Sa has. I love adding those to projects. And now I'm adding a few of the small flowers from Craft Supplies One. And then here are the new leaves that Sa has in her store. She currently still has a sale on her Zibit store because she's closing out her Zibit store. So I'll put a link in the description box below. What you see there, she has stuff like that, the rhinestone buckles and tons of pearls. So those are from her store as well. And everything right now is 50% off in her Zibit store because she is closing it out. So I would suggest checking that out. The link will be in the description box below. Um, along with her website, that's where she has all her wood and chipboard embellishments as well. 
So I'm just tucking that cheesecloth behind there, just kind of moving it around till I'm happy where it is. And I'm just adding um, a pearl behind there, a couple pearls. And there's a stick pin, pearl stick pin, but it was a little too long, so I'm just using my wire cutters to cut that down a little. And I love that sentiment, adore. She has tons of sentiments. If under her website, her where she has all her wood and uh, chipboard, you just search sentiments and a ton will pop up. Again, another thing I love is her zippers. She has either metal zippers, she has these wood zippers with words, without words. They're easy to paint and ink. So I'm just adding a few flowers right in that corner, partially to cover that up. Partially also I, I felt it needed a little just for the balance of the frame. And I'm just making sure not to glue down that photo tag or tab so it can still slide. So now I want, I decided I wanted to use some of her flat back pearls and these I also got on sale at Zibit. I love these flat back pearls. So I decided to go ahead and add them using some glossy accents. And as I was adding those on, I found that I was fighting around that flower, which once I thought about it, I just took the album out, which it was so much easier to do then, instead of accidentally gluing the flower down. And I love that about this album is that you can take it out, the photos can be added, somebody can look through it, and then it can put back in for display. So I just continued around the entire frame with those. And here are the nine row scallop trim that she has. I love this trim. You can um, put that in your die cut machine and actually die cut it out. I just cut off two strips of it. Here I'm just showing you what the pearls ended up looking like. And now I wanted to add that around the whole border, the back border. So again, I'm using some glossy accents along with a little bit of hot glue so it would here, adhere immediately. And I'm just wrapping that around the entire back of the frame. And now I'm adding the stand that goes to the back, which like I said, you, you can choose to add it long ways, um, vertical or horizontal, and or you don't even have to use it, you can hang it. So here's another look at the completed album. Like I said, I wanna leave that inside for photos. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I hope you check out Saw's website. The links will be in the description box below. Thanks for stopping by.